real quick before I get into what this video is about. This was a head-to-head -head game on Mutt last night. I won 23 to 15, and this was a pretty awesome move if you ask me. That's why I went ahead and recorded it after the game was over to show you guys. Drew Brees gets picked off by Eric Berry, and as you guys can tell coming up right here, look at that little sick move. I just stopped and backed up and went to the left on my way to the end zone for a touchdown. But I just thought I'd bring that to you guys, so let's see what this video is actually about. So here we are, guys. We're sitting in a pending collection. And I just thought I would do this video for my subscribers and other people that may stumble upon this as well. That play Ultimate Team. And what I'm trying to do in this video is kind of show you guys the cards that I have in hopes of them being in the positional collections when they drop. So as you guys know, they've released two positional collections so far. The most recent one being the Right Tackle Collection. And I actually had that silver Jeremy Trueblood card. And I sold it for 225 grand. So I was real happy to get that out of it. So here's some cards that I have. And I've been hanging on to them. Hoping that they'll be in their own positional collection when they drop. First off, I have three Drew Brees cards. And uh, if you guys have been playing Ultimate Team for a while, you know Drew Brees is in a few position, uh, not positional collections. He's in a few collections right now that are actually very valuable. And if he's in the quarterback positional collection, his card is going to pretty much skyrocket once more like it has a few times already. Um, Ultimate Team has said that his rarity has been bumped up to get him in packs easier. But there's still, you know, at maximum only one or two pages of these at a time on the auction block so if he's in the quarterback collection these cards are going to disappear in about five minutes and you know if you're hoping to get one you're going to have to pull him if you don't have him so i'm hoping he's going to be in the quarterback collection so now we're moving on to the right end collection and i have a uncollected 99 one star pro bowl cameron wake card if you guys have been following my bundles um i actually pulled one of these and I ended up hanging on to it. I pulled two of these. I'm hanging on to this one. I decided to sell it one time. But then, you know, I kind of changed my mind. I pulled it back down. I heard about these positional collections. And if he is in the collection, that's going to be great. Because his price will, you know, shoot up. And if they put him back in packs, hopefully he'll be just as difficult to come by as he was the first time. And, you know, even if he's not in the right end collection, I'm still going to be happy. Because his card is very valuable as you guys can tell so um that's something that i'm going to be excited about i could sell it either way if he is or isn't in the collection and now we're moving on to one of the harder cards to pull and anthony fasano the tight end on the dolphins some people are speculating whether or not he'll be in the tight end collection so i guess we'll just have to see when those cards drop for that collection and uh, i actually have two of these you know just hanging on to him if he's in the collection great if not, you know, I'll just resell them and get my money back out of them. So, that's the only reason I have those. And I'm hoping he's going to be in the tight end collection. So, now we're going to the wide receiver positional collection. And, you know, these were only out there for about three or four days being able to be pulled in packs. And I actually pulled a Jerry Rice three-star. And I ended up selling it. And I bought another one during happy hour because I got it for like 400 k So, I was happy about that. So if he's not in the positional collection for wide receiver, you know, that's fine with me because, you know, I can make money off of this card by selling it for more than what I got it for. And if it is, you know, I can probably double my money or even more. So we'll just see about that. And now right here, this is a card that I'm really, really hoping is in the middle linebacker collection. This is the first edition top rated Patrick Willis card. And the card you guys know now have come to love is the 99 one star. So we'll see which one or both may be in that collection. So that's going to be something to look out for. And next right here I have a 98 Tom Brady card. Which is a very valuable card. Right now on the auction block there's only a few of them. You know at a time I've only seen like 8 on the auction block at one time. That wasn't the team reward collection card. So... I got very lucky with this card last week, and I actually sniped it off the auction block for 12,000 coins, so that was a complete steal. You know, I easily banked 125 grand off of this card if I just wanted to sell it right now, so I'm hanging on to it, hoping he's in the quarterback collection because I can get a very nice reward for this card if he is in there with Drew Brees, 
So I'm definitely, definitely waiting on that quarterback collection to drop to see who all's in there. And last but not least right here, I have, you know, Ryan as a Titans fan. And, you know, he keeps up with all the rare cards and stuff like that from time to time. You know, he has an all-Titans team. And he told me that Alteron Werner is one of the most difficult cards in the game to get. And, you know, I didn't know this because I don't research all the rare cards in the game. And one night I just happened to go look for him. And I seen him there for about 25,000 coins. And I bought it as quick as I possibly could. It was the only one there. So I'm hanging on to this to see if he's in the cornerback collection. That's going to be something to be looking out for. And as you guys know, you can only have up to 10 cards in a pending collection at one time. So I actually have a couple of more cards I'm going to name off for you guys that I do have that I'm just kind of hanging on to hoping that they'll be dropped in positional collections as well. I also have two 99 one stars of Patrick Willis which is the card that's in packs right now and it's kind of hard to pull but I have two of those and I also have a silver Christian Ponder and a silver Mark Sanchez. So like you guys have seen, I have Tom Brady, I've got these Drew Brees cards, and if Christian Ponder and Mark Sanchez are dropped in the quarterback collection, it's going to be a very good day for me. I can tell you guys that right now. So that's going to definitely be one I'm waiting for, and I have a feeling it's not going to be dropped anytime soon. It's probably going to be one of the last ones they release, but who knows, we'll see. So now we're moving on. Speaking of the Tennessee Titans, I have Carl Klug. And, uh, you know, he's he's one of the harder cards to pull. So, I definitely picked that one up. Like I said, I think I got it for maybe 20 grand. So, I went ahead and bought that as quick as possible. Just like the Alteron Burner. It was the only one there at the time. So, I'm waiting on that collection to drop. And, right here, I was talking about Anthony Fasano. And I also still have an uncollected two-star playoff Gronkowski card. And, you know, I've held on to it like all these, just waiting to see what drops. And speaking of the quarterback collection, one more time, with everything I've mentioned, Christian Ponder, Mark Sanchez, Tom Brady, Drew Brees. I also have the first edition one star of Aaron Rodgers. So we'll, we're just going to have to see, guys. So I wanted to throw this video out there to kind of get your guys' opinions on which cards do you think will be in collections which cards do you think won't make it and I wanted to kinda upload this to see if you guys are doing like me if you're hanging on to some of these cards that may be in positional collections that are you know worth a good bit on the auction block so just let me know in the comments below because I'll be reading it I'm definitely curious to see what you guys are hanging on to which cards you're banking on being in their positional collections and, you know, how much coins you may have got your cards for if you got a good deal on them. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for that. So let me know in the comments below. And, you know, I think we're going to have a very good time on these positional collection, guys. So hopefully we can all make a lot of coins together. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And until next time, roll tide.